wird, äh, wie ich meine, In my opinion, the world will no longer be unilateral, but multilateral. Of course, in 15 years, the USA will also still play a major role and will presumably be the most important economic power. But they will no longer be the only ones. This is true for both gross national product and foreign trade, and also for currency correlations. Das gilt aber auch für die Währungsrelation. The time will be over when the US Secretary of the Treasury, when asked, where is the dollar heading, replies, it's my currency and your problem. Besides the dollar, there will also be other currencies that will play an important role on the market. Certainly, the euro will continue to play an important role but also the importance of the renminbi will increase. Considering that either currently the president of the Chinese Central Bank or the Chinese Minister of Finance have already about $4,000 billion in their portfolio, and considering to which extent the USA is already in debt to China, You realize the Chinese are not bluffing, but are quite serious when announcing they intend to make their currency compatible shortly. Thus, the Chinese currency will become a world currency instead of a regional one, and, besides that, the yen will still be playing a role, and to boot, some regional European currencies will do so as well. Furthermore, India will play a role too, as well as Central American states and South American states such as Brazil. Then it will be right and necessary to more strongly integrate these emerging nations and continents in the framework of the G20. It was right and necessary to expand the G7 to G8, first by including Russia. But now it is important that we intensify cooperation with Asia, South America and perhaps also Africa. It is not only globalization that has played a significant role for the last 10 to 15 years, but also the fact that the world is merging and becoming one single village. However, there are no sufficient rules in this village. It will be the decisive question in the future of which set of rules the globalized world will adopt. With respect to finance, with respect to trade and with respect to the cooperation between currencies. Then it will be necessary to join forces. Certainly, Europe will not be able to act as 20 or 30 different nations, but facing growing economic areas and its own decreasing significance, it will only be able to play its role if the European states join forces, defining their common interests and representing these accordingly. I am convinced of this. Since Europe would diminish its significance if it were to fall apart, how should we have any influence regarding the large economic areas in North America and South America, regarding Asia, or even regarding Africa? We would be at the mercy of global politics, the global economy and other currencies. In this regard, I am sure that Europe will find a way through this crisis. It was Henry Kissinger himself, perhaps the only one to understand us in the last years, who put it very simply when he said, I do not know how the Europeans are going to solve this, but I'm sure they will do it. That is why I think that Europe is going in quite a good way, in spite of all setbacks, which will certainly come again. To boot, the question will arise, what about the public debt of Japan? What about the public debt of the USA? We will then see that the financial indicators of the United Kingdom are not better, but rather worse than those of the Eurozone states. 
Also, ich glaube, dass Europa It is my opinion that Europe, if we join forces, will step out of this negative focus and confidence in European politics will grow again. This also requires a common currency, since Europe would not be able to maintain an internal market in the future if we do not defend this common currency and establish it. Otherwise, Europe would see a race for devaluations and revaluations, for subsidies and patronage. Internationally, we would appear ridiculous to the other large blocks. Eigentlich bilden sich neue Kraftzentren immer in der Umgebung. Actually, new centers of power always form in the vicinity of successful countries. Therefore, I consider it quite possible that the successes in Brazil and in some other countries will be imitated in Central and South America. I do not think that the Cuban model or the model of Chavez will indeed be imitated. Und ich glaube nicht, dass das Kubanische Prinzip oder Above all, I notice this in Asia, where countries like India and also Pakistan have to show that they are starting to develop in a positive way, similar to what China has been doing and will, presumably, continue to do. Pakistan zeigen müssen. Furthermore, Africa has to leave its crisis behind. Certainly this is still the continent that is most fragmented and devastated by civil war. In my opinion, however, there are also good approaches in the world, the World Bank, and also we in Europe should do our utmost to export stability to Africa. And the world die Weltbank äh, und auch wir in Europa. Wir sollten alles daran We too should pay much attention to what Germany's former federal president Horst Kühler has begun and also to what he continues to pursue within the frame of his United Nations mandate and in other bodies because Africa is, of course, very close to Europe and we cannot be indifferent to development there, also in view of the age-long connection. Das internationale Recht wird, so glaube ich, ganz sicher eine wesentlich stärkere Rolle spielen. Als ich Gymnasiast war, in my opinion, international law will play an essential role. When I attended grammar school, people used to smile at the young man from my home village who dedicated himself to space law. Today, I know that they were wrong. This man envisaged an incredible future, doing so as early as the late 1950s, when the Sputnik had just been shot into space. In the last two decades, the abolition of customs within the frame of the WTO and the OECD was the key issue. In the future, we will not be dealing with obstacles to trade as posed by customs, but above all, by law. Where is law unequal? Where is law discriminating? Where is law used to prevent fair competition? Und die Angleichung des internationalen Rechts bei durchaus berechtigter Berücksichtigung des nationalen Rechts. In this regard, international law and the alignment of international law, also rightly taking into account national law and national interests, will play a vital role. In this context, of course, international trade will have to play a major role too. How is growth supposed to be generated in the next decades? Presumably through increased trade. This increased trade is estimated to generate 2% growth, 
meaning 2 million jobs, it is assumed that the European Trade Agreement or the European Transatlantic Movement could lead to an increase in growth in Europe by 0.5%. This, however, can only happen if the legal provisions are clear and understandable. This is particularly important for small and medium-sized enterprises. The major enterprises can afford to set up big legal departments. It is vital for small enterprises that they also can understand the laws and that they are supported by bodies of industry and trade or the Chamber of Foreign Commerce. The most important thing is not to let them get lost in the jungle of complicated provisions and regulations. We will also reach an international balance with respect to sensitive issues such as compliance. What many Germans do not want to believe yet, bribery and corruption are not worthwhile anywhere. Companies who learn from their mistakes and say, only clean business is our business, everywhere and every time, do not have disadvantages but success. It is better to renounce something in order to clearly state, no, we don't do these kind of things. This does not mean that the world will suddenly only consist of saints, of course. Mistakes will still be made. Of course, there will still be cases of corruption. But the decisive question is, how do we deal with it? Damage caused by corruption in the whole world is estimated to amount to $1 billion a year. Just consider what could be done with this money, especially in the troubled continents, such as Africa or elsewhere. This means huge reserves that could be invested otherwise or used otherwise.